welcome back to my channel. It's Christine Grace and today is another reaction video. Today I am reacting to a little compilation. So yeah, no idea what I'm about to get into. So why don't we head into it together? Make sure you like the video on your way in. Let's get straight into it. No, maybe they are women who identify as men. Does that make them men? Oh, here we go. If they believe they're men, then sure. So you think maybe that's what some people are bringing up today when it comes to, yes, men can get pregnant. Is there women that think that they're men that are getting pregnant? Not that they think they're men, that they identify as men. What's the difference? Because thinking implies that they're not actually men. To identify with something is a mental thought process. So tell me how identifying with something is any different to thinking it. I fed up with this world! Does identifying as a man also imply that as well? No. Like if, if, if they were a man, wouldn't you just not say that at all and you would just say they're a man? Sure. She knows the truth, like the majority of people are a little Things that trans people, I feel like a lot of people are just ignorant to yeah. things that trans people do and can experience. In your view, are trans men, men? Yes. Okay. Bruv, look how terrified this little donut is just to answer a basic question. It's like someone's there pointing a gun at her. So we're talking to some people today that are saying, no, men can't get pregnant. Uh, what's going on there? Well, I think they believe that if you have a vagina, you're a woman, which is not necessarily the case. Yes, it is. Would, would you consider that more uh, scientific, or do you consider that more ideological when it comes to your perspective of men getting pregnant? What do you think? Um, it could be scientific. I mean, it does seem like it would be an ideological issue. Um, it's not like an ideology. I think it's more of a philosophical argument. Most of these people are just terrified to say what they actually think. Cause it'll yeah, honestly, I think that everyone here is just very, very scared to speak the truth. I mean, you can just tell by all of their body language, they're all kind of like, oh, oh, I don't know. I don't want to answer that. Oh, please don't cancel me. This is the world that we've created. A man is an XY chromosome. In biology and not an ideology. I see a man as an XY chromosome. That's what a man is. Fair enough. What are your pronouns? She, her. She, her. He, him. She, her. They, them. They, them. I'm Schwab and I go by all pronouns. Any pronouns. He, him, his. If you'd have asked me at this age what my pronouns were, I'd have asked you what- Oh, I'd tell you to do one. I would tell you to do one. I'd be so offended. I'd be like, what do you think? <laughs> we live in a time where intelligent people are being silenced so that stupid people won't be offended. Facts. What the fuck? are you doing? Now, if you identify as a woman, you need to know that the modern feminists, they're not gonna like this one. Cause they're oh my gosh. little women that don't fly in 2023. I would give my pitch to Brittany. I feel like these two gentlemen up here are really great guys, but I feel like I'm maybe not as nice as them. I would put it that way. I feel like I'm a little bit more on the, on the fun side, spontaneous, adventurous. Brittany, you feeling anything there? I'm really picky. <laughs> Really bold. Be bold. Do you it. are so attractive. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I feel bad for this dude. Got a sweat patch. He's the best looking guy I've ever seen. <laughs> and what is your name, by the way? Jeff. Jeff, are you interested in Britney? Yes or no? No. Oh! She said she's picky, so is Jeff. And he's a little sweaty. My favorite thing about being a professional bodybuilder is like walking down the street, passing a group of guys. When you have a bunch of muscle as a woman, they're always like, and you know when I'm walking by them, I'm always like, oh my God, I look ginormous right now. <laughs> <gasps> it's my favorite. Let's just keep it real. Even with all that juice and muscle, a skinny little man can still knock you out. And it's no surprise men look <laughs> at you when you walk past looking like the Hulk, bruv. There's not many women that look like that. And if you're scowling. Hi, I'm Kirsten from Impact Martial Arts. And I'll be showing you a knockout using Kyushu Jitsu. I'm going to strike on one six, which is a metal yin point. As you go to the second one, I'm going to do a double strike. One, two, long six on this arm again. 
and the other two um, liver and gallbladder, which is um, wood. What? So what we have here is the cycle of destruction because metal cuts wood, and we also have yin and yang on the ribs here. Then I'm going to finish off with the strike of stomach five, um, because we have wood penetrating there. Here. I don't need the f***ing attitude. It's been all f***ing night with you. Oh Relax. No, you've come in with a very nasty ass. So gentlemen hey, who yo. are watching. The yo. solipsism. Yo, you don't need to f***ing mock me. What's your deal? Like, if I'm speaking, okay, you don't okay, need okay. to repeat the words in which I just said in a mocking, condescending way. But the way you're conducting s yourself is now leading me to believe I thought initially you were just bad faith, but now I actually think you're trolling. The word women. Fresh meat, malleable. Yeah, I I'm, imagine being married to this woman, the nagging. I, I'm not even dating this woman. I'm not your boyfriend. You don't, you're not going to come on my podcast and nag me about, oh, you were not acting in a way that I wanted you to act, and you didn't greet me in the precise way that I would, I would have liked to have been greeted. You're nagging me. I'm not even your dude. Like, imagine the dude that you date. Right. It's hey nothing guys. personal. Hey guys. I didn't. Get off the show. Get the f get the f off the show. See Leave. Ya. I ain't never seen this man this pissed. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. She's like a child. Says is it's okay to have lower income. It's okay to do president boys in the IT industry because well there's a world conspiracy against you. You know people hate you. That's why. Also I did some recruiting. I have a company. The whole thing is girls are usually quite lazy. They're just not that good programmers. Sorry, but that's true, honestly. They just don't want to get their hands dirty to do the job. When I tried to do some recruiting, I intentionally wanted to recruit women. And at the end, I failed to do so. Do you want to know why? Because most of those girls were usually just cheating. They were just not good programmers. At the end, I had to recruit boys. And that's why I think the whole talk about let's recruit more women is bad because at the end, you're recruiting worse programmers. At the end, your company is going to suffer. And honestly, don't see girls staying up until late at their office and working that often. No, it's usually a boy staying. She came, destroyed feminism. Someone who's not afraid to speak the truth. She left. Respect to this woman. She's a smart woman and she's an honest woman. <laughs> Why are you recording my swing now? Like, I don't think there's any need for you to do that. Why are you? Who are you sending it to? Someone said, took a first date to axe throwing, brought my own axes, never saw her again after that. <laughs> Can y'all see or are y'all paying attention to the different women that's in the arena? What? Snipers. You at the game with your girl and you go to the bathroom and we see she by herself. By the time you get back, we might have her number. How? Ball boy. Go get her. You see her right there? Yeah. No, no, no. Right there. Yeah, her. Get her. That's how that's how it happens when you all of a sudden thinking, man, my, my baby, she has some she wanna go to some concert or something. She ain't go to no concert. <laughs> <laughs> she out of town. What? Oh. You got to be careful. And it's social media now. It's Snapchat. It's hidden invisible DM. Do you believe that people can change gender? Um, I believe they can. I know where this is. I recognise this place. Is this North London? But it all depends. Like, everyone says there's three, but once you turn into one, technically there's two. But yeah, people can change gender. Alright, uh, cool. Yeah. And if people can change gender, do you think that people can change race as well? No. So why can't people change their race if they can change their gender? They're two different things. Race is to do with colour. You can't really change colour. If you're born with one colour, stick to it. But you could change gender, but race, I don't know. But wouldn't you say there's more like similarity between like a, a, a black man and a white man like genetically than like a, a man and a woman? Nothing's different. Like, I don't know what else to say about that, but like nothing is different between a white or black man. 
you just, why, why do you want to change race? I don't know. Some people might want to change their race. Some people might want to change, I don't know. I've never heard of that before. Rachel. Yeah, the Rachel Delisle. You've never heard of that before? Come on. <laughs> of course you have. Diesel, like, there's a lot of, like, there's a lot of uh, white people that have got, like, skin injections to become, like, darker skinned. And there's a lot of... Yeah, there's literally, like, so many, like, I remember when I was growing up, there was so many headlines of this with people changing races. Like, black people in, like, Western countries that, like, bleach. Like, Michael Jackson. He changed race. Yeah. yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. But I still believe that... She can't change your race. Wait, okay, let me ask you another question. Do you think changing your race is uh, like cultural appropriation? Most definitely. But then why isn't it like uh, like gender appropriation or sex appropriation to change your like gender and get changed? Um, I'm not sure. I, like, it's not my business. If they want to change the gender, they can. The lights are on, but nobody's home. She nearly <laughs> understood as well, but that. Last remaining brain cell just couldn't quite pull her through. You can tell a lot of these Muppets just don't think for themselves. If a bunch of her woke little friends told her tomorrow that you can change your race, then she'd be agreeing with them. Obviously, we need to replace the teachers and send in Michael. Get some help. Can you tell us what a safe space is? I mean, a place. Oh, Lord. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. I swear you're not going to get hurt or ridiculed. And so on a college campus, if there's people with like Halloween costumes that maybe make you feel uncomfortable, does that make it not safe anymore? Yeah, that's, that's not a safe place. So it's violent, it's not safe at all to be no. just seeing those Halloween costumes. Mm -hmm. So if you saw like a white person wearing like a sombrero and, and so that'd be, that's not safe? No, because that's, that's ridicule, that's being made fun of. It's using that as a caricature. And uh, you're not joking, are you? No. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, this, times have really changed. I can't believe how insensitive these people are these days. Yeah. It's... I mean, wearing these costumes and trying to have fun on Halloween, I'm not sure where they think they can get that idea. No clue. You're still not joking, are you? Still not joking. Okay. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Just talking about the, con the issues of the day. My outfit is offensive. Are you Mexican? No. Yes. I think it reaffirms stereotypes that are offensive to people. It's not yours. <laughs> Do you find my outfit offensive? Yes. Yeah. Why? Because it's not your culture. Um, you don't really understand what their culture means and what it means to wear these things, like the hats and the maracas. You, know, you sort of have to understand where all of this comes from for it to not be cultural appropriation. With this generation, it always seems to be the one... Ah. Uh... Any excuse to be offended. <laughs> oh, send the asteroid. Ones that it doesn't affect to the time. Does my outfit a f don't actually give a shit? Does my outfit offend you? You look no, no, no. You look nice. Do you like my costume? Yes. Does it offend you? No. Um, do you like Do you like my outfit? Oh yeah, it's awesome. Does my outfit offend you? No, not at all. No. No, nothing. Let's go in. Let's use let let's use our quiet voices, please. Calm down. <laughs> Maybe stop acting like children. Uh, stop acting like a child, and I will. Can I ask you what you identify as? Identify? Eth eth ethnicity. I identify as an American. Not uh, an African American. Is that are you at these people literally they just want to divide 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 like wow oh freaking american i didn't get elected into my position because of the color of my skin or do any any race baiting stuff that it seems like you're promoting here oh i'm promoting race baiting yes lady i'm promoting race baiting tokenism what the fuck are you talking about how are we going to get rid of racism and stop talking about it do you identify as black? No, it's a serious question because you might not identify. Can you please put the mic? Thank you. Okay. Uh, when I Less walked into, when I'm I not walked done into the question. room, I am I not done room, with my question. Oh, 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 hey, young lady, young lady. I, I'm just asking you to listen to me. While and, I and, I, and I'm question. about to answer okay. the first question. But I didn't, I didn't finish my question. Okay. Yeah, I'm black. Less than 9% of the people in this room are black. And we're all not here for you. Relax. Ma'am. He don't assume my gender. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't do that. Pronouns, don't assume your gender? What are your pronouns then? Zay and Z and princess. Princess? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Damn. We call on you to boycott. Starbucks, McDonald's, Disney, Nestle, Coca-Cola, Pizza Hut, Burger King, Pepsi, Domino's, Papa John's, Nike, CeraVe, and Airbnb, Subway, Walmart, and Dasani, and the list goes on. This demonstration should make our demands clear. 
What did she just say? Papa John's Nike. Nike. Oh, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. <laughs> Wants to ban Nike. It's just like a man. You just seem very misogynistic, yeah, realistically. Yeah, yeah. What is misogyny? <laughs> Why are you using words that you don't even know the definition no, of? No, no, that's not no, what I meant. I think, she's gonna be, I think you are misogynistic, though. But what does misogynistic mean, though? Um, like, just so I know what you're calling me. Okay, so the reason I said it is just, again, based on the... the. I've heard the word on Instagram or TikTok, and it's what we call boys when we don't like them. It's what we say to men when they say something logical. You don't know what you're talking about, do you? Out your eyes. Raise your eyebrows. Stop smiling. That's your model face. <laughs> Sensational. <laughs> I've seen this video so many times. Oh my gosh, the misandry is real. I want to see what you look like under the mask. Like, why are you hiding your face? I'm hiding my face for the same reason you're wearing makeup. He cold. So I went to Google, I went to Google, I put pink adult naked, and I click on pictures. And what I see, what I see, there's a lot of page. There's a lot of- Michael, get some help. Not right now, bro. I know you got up the car, what you want to do, be afraid? Uh, excuse me, can we not do this? Hey, y'all, can we not do this? I know we don't. Can we not do this? Like I know. We can talk like grown men. Can we not do this? No, no, I know, okay. but you, you got out no, the car took, then. No, I'm just I got out the car because I'm trying to feel your energy, man. You just pulled up. Man, you just came sir, there with your family. Sir, you right here on the street. We trying to come up too, sir. We leave you the I know, lot, but come on, sir. There's other cars coming too. Man, God bless you, lover, man. You got I know. I'm calling car. you sir, right? That's respect, right? Did I disrespect you? That's love. See, that's what real men do. You feel me? That's what real men do. <laughs> See? Trying to get See? To know that's what real men do. <laughs> See? It's too much to risk and too much to lose fighting on the street as a grown man. Most of the time, it's not worth it unless you really have to protect yourself or your loved one. And it's always good to see two men squash it instead of resort to violence. It says here, on our way to the hospital, we went from anger to real love. John Doe and I have checked on each other twice since yesterday. Lifetime brothers now. <laughs> I was in a self-defense situation. If you are a big monster human and you want to fight me and you square off with me, guess what I'm going to do? Run away. Because I don't want I don't want to get involved. Even if out on the street and you start yelling at me and saying you want to fight me, I don't want to fight you. It doesn't matter. I don't care if I can beat you or not. What if you stab me? What if you sue me after I get done throwing you onto the concrete? This mindset is what we need. All the people who are just too quick to fight, want to fight, want to be violent. Low IQ. Low IQ. Street. There's a, a million bad things that can happen and almost nothing good. Men can get fired from their job and be in debt while going through heartbreak. And the only thing they will say is, I will figure it out. I mean, what else can you do other than figure it out? If you sit around moping, feeling sorry for yourself, you're not going to get anywhere. you got to pick yourself up, figure out what you need to do and do it. Absolutely. And unfortunately, we live in an age where there's also a lot of men who just say, I'm not going to figure it out. I'm going to sit here and wallow in self-pity and be a victim. And woe is me. Everyone feel bad for me. I've had such a hard life. You need to figure it out, man or woman. Get on with it. Pull your socks up. Come on. Life's not over and we're only here for a short time anyway. So uh, figure it out. My folds are coming off three. Two, one. You see him over there? Yeah, got a lot of facial hair. You, do you want? Do you wanna? Do you wanna kiss that? Or? I kind of like minimal facial hair. Well, you could always look. I think I'm away. A few minutes later. There is someone who wants to steal Anthony away from you, Kaylee. How about this? Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. Ava, Ava, Ava. The lesson is here, just because you're not one girl's type don't mean you're not another's. Get out my house. Get out my house. I'm not going to say it no more. I'm asking you to leave my house. Come on, let's uh, go. Alright, good luck let's to you, Holmes. Let's go. Let's I'm asking you to leave. Good luck, Holmes. Now the caption says the husband's caught the wife cheating and now she's having a meltdown and trying to get rid of him. A lot of women will do this when they get caught. They'll try and turn it on you, try and make you look like the bad one. But don't fall for that bullshit. There's no getting out of it if she cheats. She belongs to the streets. Couldn't agree more. Uh, should body count matter, yes or no? Yes. Oh wait, well, <laughs> here, let me start uh, over here and sorry. then we'll come to that, so that's fine. For the man or the woman? Both. Um, I think, Kind of. I think it's more about how you go about your relationships, regardless of the number. 
and how like you treat each partner and how you enter and exit those engagements and that should be more reflective of like you than just a number so yes what, and no what was the question should body count matter yeah for the most part it's a conversation what i don't like pouring? to talk uh <sighs> ask it's it's, Wait, what? What are you it's nasty. Water? What, what, what does it matter? Why do you want to know? Like, with your partner. So you, you know, it's just one of those things where it's like, that was your life. This was my life. That's not who I am or that's not who you are and stuff. It's like, meet me where... It's not a subject that you want to discuss. You are like, so far away from the microphone. <laughs> I don't think it's anybody not a can subject hear you. to discuss. It's like... Body count? What's the point of you telling me you screwed an X amount, it's like, are, am I supposed to be impressed or grossed out? Like, you know, it's, it's not something that I don't, I would like talking about. You don't like talking about body count? No, that's nasty. Do you ask Cause yes, your partner? there are diseases out there. Wait. I'm sorry. But you can't get a disease from talking about body count. But I'm not going <laughs> to judge someone on body count and stuff either. So it's it, like, it doesn't matter to you whatsoever. I don't want to know. Oh. Like even if I, so, I think that, that what you're saying it's is like, that it does matter to you because but, if it okay. was high, it it's would like if you need to you. go to the bathroom for whatever reason, I do not need to know what your reason is to go to the restroom. That is your business. You know. Word. Okay. Well, would go it, to the would it, here's a different question. Would it upset you if a guy who either on a first, second date, if a guy asked you what your body count was? I think that that would be kind of like an immature, that would be like me, hard pass on you, I gotta go. Okay, I'll, I'll come back to that. I want, I want to get everyone's answer on this though. Go ahead and then we'll come back around. I would want to know why he needs to know because if, if it really, like that guy's comment, he was like, it was so in depth and stuff, but I don't know if all men are thinking that deep into it or they're just like, oh, is she ran through or not or whatever. But it's like, I would want to know why and if you are someone to make snap judgments on people, if they asked me and wanted to know my whole sexual history, I'd have no problem being open. But if they just wanted to like, call me a slut if it was over a certain number then i'd be like fuck off no but they might like, want they might want to use it as a criteria for disqualifying you from pursuing yeah, you further I, I honestly think that's fair if that's what they want in a partner that's what they want sure. if and if that's part of their criteria maybe that's not somebody i want to be with we're not a match yeah move on okay. like there you go what about you oh yeah wait what yeah it does does it no. matter? You said does it matter? Was that the no, question? No, the, the question, Sorry. I switched it to... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Would you take an issue if a guy was asked you mm -hmm. on a first or second date or something early, fairly early on, let's uh, say? Yeah, early on is About your body count. Yeah, it's, it's I think, I think that's a... And it's not disrespectful as much as it is, like, immature and novice, and it's just like... It's immature and novice? Okay. Yeah, it's, it's more of a question that you ask once you are willing to consider consider like settle settling down with them or that's something. when you should ask the question or not settling down what if you didn't want to waste time what but like well if i didn't want to waste it? time i'll ask for your bank statements it's like all right let's see the bank statement you want to know my body count let's get that personal then it's just there's certain things that are, it's just it's tacky well the the difference there i would say is there's no way to i mean you can look at a woman's behavior you can sort of look at their appearance right. and make to some degree a judgment over potential promiscuity or body count. But if a guy tells you that he's a mechanical engineer in this city, you can just go on to, what's the website where you can look at people's like the white pages? profile? Like what, yeah, like well there's job? like, there's websites where you can just like, See how much Yo, they just earn. Just a background see, check like, type of thing. No, 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 not see how much specifically they earn, but you say here's their age. Oh, like, Glassdoor. Like, like Glassdoor, yeah, you can see. You. Oh. Okay, uh, a software engineer in San Francisco is making X, likely to be making X amount. So, I mean, if someone tells you they're also, you can change your salary, but you can't change your body count. There's two arguments here. Body count is a direct kind of uh, indicator, at least, to past behavior. Um, and we know for a fact that generally 99% of the time, people tend to follow pretty similar patterns of behavior. But when it comes to salary, you know, there's, there's two things, because you could make the argument of, well, if he has a good job and a good paying salary, then he's competent and you know that 
behavior can be reflected through the salary but then there's also the other argument which is that maybe he's young you know as a dude i think most guys hit their peak salary in their 50s you know maybe he's young and you know maybe he's just not come across the right opportunity yet something like salary can can fluctuate whereas obviously something like body count you know you're at the number you're at that can't go up nor down so that's not really the same metric for a certain career you're going to have a sense of their earnings it's not foolproof but whereas with body count it's kind of up in the air yeah but i've like i've misread guys before and then like once we get into the body count conversation like their body count is significantly like just lower than i thought it would be i'd be like oh you're like a 30 40 you're an entertainer you do this you do that and they're like nope i've been with a handful of chicks in my whole life and it's really like but then it starts clicking as i see like how do they treat women outside and all this other stuff well i feel like as dudes i mean you have to go through i mean me personally like i went through you know a stage where i was knocking them down or whatever but as you get older like you realize well like now i only have sex with women that i that i would date so if I won't even date you, I won't even have sex with you because it's a waste of time. I'm busy. I don't have time to do all that. It's so, interesting. Some people don't have to go through the hoe phase to see that too. And well, yeah, true, true, true. But a lot of guys can't even have a hoe but... phase. A guy has to be able to have a hoe phase. Like any girl can have a hoe phase, but a guy, you, you, I don't every think guy can't to. have a hoe phase. Uh, I think a yeah, guy doesn't have what, to have a hoe phase. Wh where are you going with it? I just think that where, there's like, different levels you of like you emotional in intelligence. Like for me, yeah, I'm older and I shouldn't have been here because I'm older because, you know, it's a different crowd. However, it's like if someone were to start a conversation with me like that, I would be like, you know, my brain cells does Air not really have the capacity for this conversation. Yeah. Yeah. You can say that again. Can you close the door, Eric? I think that, can I jump in? Okay. Let me, I, well, let me have her okay. go first. So if a guy on a first or second date asks you, what's your body count? Um, I obviously, would you take an issue I, have, with it? I have always, I'm always up front with okay. everybody that I'm talking about, my friends, yeah. my family, everybody. Um, if somebody asks me my body count, like that's something I can't even give because I don't personally know, but I don't think it's a respectful thing. You think it's not respectful? Yeah. You know what else is not respectful? People being on their phones while we're <clears throat> so in the middle of a conversation. I really hate when people do that. Yeah, you're literally on your yeah, phone so right annoying. now, literally. Oh, okay, God. so yeah, you were on your phone. Okay, so what I about think, you? I think that body count does matter and it's indicative of a lot of things. I think that there's when having bringing up that conversation i think at first date you know guy just comes off super blunt with it i'm gonna be like okay that was distasteful but i think that if you know if i'm going on a second or th let's say third date with somebody i have significant interest in them because i'm not wasting my time going on a third date with some guy i don't see a future with um in any sense and hopefully that's the same back so if on the third date he ask that question in a respectful sense, then I think that that is definitely something that should be disclosed. First date. But First date. First he's date. Not, he's not being a dickhead about it, but he's just like, no, hey, okay, listen. It's, it's all in delivery. Here, Everything is so, in okay, delivery. Okay, here's the framing. Here's the framing. It's not like, what's your body count, whore? The framing yeah. is, <laughs> hey, listen, I'm not interested in something casual. I'm looking for something serious. Mm -hmm. I happen to think that body count matters. Just, it's something that's important to me. I, I would like to know what your body count is. Mm -hmm. Why is it important? Because of everything else we spoke. Why is body count important? Two things come to mind. First thing, past behavior is a great indicator of future behavior. And the awareness of that behavior and what an individual takes from it is a, a great indicator of their potential to develop, of their potential to change their behavior, of their potential to be self-reflective and introverted introspective i should say and also the harsh truth which is if everyone's had a go your value goes down scarcity determines value if not many people have given it a go well obviously you're going to hold a lot more value because you're rarer about let me come back to that but i'll tell you why body count's important but if he framed it in that way With would that still be disrespectful <laughs> no, or rude no i i like honestly i think the that elegant thing to do and say okay well what what's the number that's too high for you and if he said five 
you know, depending on who I am. (laughs) (laughs) No, depending on who I am and what my actual count is, I would say, thank you so much for taking me out. I'd leave Mm -hmm. half the bill and I'd leave. Or I would say my number's under that and I'm glad we both value this thing. Oh, wow. What's yours? You're so cordial. I mean, that's, yeah, I suppose that's that's one way to, to do it. Okay. Wait, but... I think that if a man sleeps with a woman and then asks her body count and acts like it matters to him, he's out the window. I think that that is just garbage. That's gross. Wait, but, well, wait what's gross? So let's say a man sleeps with a woman uh-huh. and he has this, you know, idea in his head. Or I shouldn't say oh, idea in his head. If he has this, if he's, um, you know, has the motive to be in a oh. expectation of being in a long term or looking for a long term thing, and he sleeps with a woman and then asks what her body count is because it matters to him. Shame on him, because he didn't. You know, th- then she probably would not have done what she did if she knew. Is that if that's opinion. like a? Isn't that just masking her behavior? Isn't that just manipulating her behavior to suit the guy to suit what she thinks he wants? When really, if you've just slept with him anyway well then that's a great indicator even if the body count's not high like it's still telling behavior the guy shouldn't have to tell you what he expects first to see if you're compatible because then you can just mold yourself to his perfect girl um and that's never gonna work so you just gotta be yourself and if that involves sleeping with him and then he asks your body count well you gotta hold yourself accountable you gotta be responsible for your actions you can't just mold yourself to what you think someone else wants because then that's not a true indicator of your behavior or who you are at all you're not it oh sorry not- I mean, not necessarily, but I... if that's the biggest pre-qualifier, I think that's like, th- like I said, the most novice and immature pre-qualifier ever. It's what... immature to care about a woman's promiscuity. <laughs> Im- immediately, and promiscuity as in like, how long ago was that past and present and future, whatever. But like, why aren't you thinking about like, how, how is she in public? How does she treat you? How does she speak to her family does she even you know like those things are so much more important and you can't just get everything hashed out in one date so that's why i think like the first date that does not make sense just be with someone that has the same values that you some men want a freak that has a ton of experience someone a little innocent virgin if they don't like who you are don't be with them don't feel personalized just move on like honestly like it's really like not it's only as deep as you make it Mm -hmm. and if you want to put your value as a human being on your body count that's on you yeah and vice versa if people want to do that to you and you take their opinion to heart yeah but so many women have a serious issue with this being a preference that men have i get that a lot of women i mean a couple of women at the Find stable a man have that it. doesn't do you know <laughs> yeah. do you know that your wait would... before i have you go did you get to give your take on this oh i think body like counts... if a guy asked i wouldn't care the... no okay i think it's important okay i think it's about self-respect for yourself they want to know you respect yourself sure Got high standards yeah okay cool uh what about Go ahead. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, did you know that when you have sex with a guy, his DNA is inside of you? Like for, forever? Or yeah, like forever. For, like like six there's, years a, or there's a, yeah. a, a, a Even study or story. Oh, I've heard of this. Yeah, like you, uh, he, she it's couldn't like even point. donate uh, bone marrow because, yeah, like this guy's wife tried to uh, donate bone marrow, but she couldn't because his <laughs> DNA was was part like, of her was bone, part marrow, of her bone so marrow so every time you that's share, why sex is so spiritual yeah, so it's like so important totally. to yeah. i think very, it's the highest connection you can you can yeah. choose to have with so like, i think that's why, that's why you sex, have a low body count yeah. because it's so spiritual i think sex is so uh Sacred. such a big thing and should be a valued thing the same reason that sexual assault is so awful mm-hmm. you know it's if, so, if yeah. you know punching someone in the face is not the same as assaulting say, yeah. is sexually assaulting someone because I think she makes a really good point there at the end about how, you know, why sexual assault, genuine sexual assault is so awful because it's like, it's just the highest violation because I think like she quite rightly said, it's the, it's the highest thing that you can intimately share with someone of the opposite sex. I, I think that's a really interesting point. And I agree with the, the lady before her, you know, that yeah, it's a great indicator of self-respect, how high a lady's body count is. Um, and as I said before that, you know, it, past behavior tends to predict future behavior, um, but it's also really telling how they perceive their own past behavior because it tells you how introspective the person is and also how self-aware 
self-aware they are and generally how self-aware a person is correlate to how neurotic they are, how mentally stable they are. All of these things which are important to look for in a substantial long-term partner. What do you think? Do you think body count matters? Why don't you let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up on your way out and be sure to subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all of my content. I will see you very soon in the next one.